Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Now if you're new, we do movie and series reviews, monthly wrap up tier list with the occasional kind of like random ranking. And we're also adding some game board content into the mix. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, consider hitting that subscribe button. Also my second time filming this because I don't know what happened. But we're starting off with Hulu and we're gonna work our way through theaters. So first up is The Princess. This is the star Joey Keen. We are in like medieval round territory with kings and queens and princesses taught locked in the tower but this is not your typical oh oh so helpless in distress princess help me help me dear sir no 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 this is a badass princess who knows how to handle her own is actually working her way from the top of the tower after being kidnapped because she didn't want to marry the psychopath locked in a tower works her way down killing everybody she can and going to go save her family that's right she's gonna go save the king who of course had issues with her training and you know trying to be this soldier because oh no 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 we cannot have that here you're gonna be a queen you're gonna have your duties it's good for like a one-time watch medieval time not too much dialogue bad guys are not that great joey king's a badass um it was a uh, it was a, it's a pretty okay movie. Moving on to Not Okay. This uh, stars Zoe Deutsch, Mia Isaac, and a pretty hilarious, uh, very good looking uh, Dylan O'Brien. Zoe's character pretty much acts like she was part of this terrorist attack because, you know, she's trying to get, is it clout? Is that what it's called? I think so. I think I'm using that in the correct content. Uh, she's basically trying to be famous. You know, she's a nobody at work. She's trying to be a writer and she's like a photo editor. All of this honestly just to impress a guy. A big old lie that just escalates very quickly. She ends up befriending uh, Mia Isaac's character who's all honestly the one that you're kind of rooting for. Well the one that you are rooting for but like the way it ended because it doesn't give you that happily ever after. Like oh my god you know. And it's a very realistic ending towards it. I was very content like when it ended I was just like oh wow like it really ended like that. Okay, that's kind of cool. Uh, but at the end of the day, I thought it was just an okay movie. I really don't see myself re-watching it, to be honest with you. Moving on to Netflix. Persuasion, which stars Dakota Johnson, uh, Cosmo Jarvis. I am pretty sure I'm screwing up his name, but when aren't I? And uh, Henry Golding, which honestly, Henry was just such, such a huge waste in this film. Like, why even cast him? Like, I honestly thought he was going to have more to do with the movie uh this is based upon a jane austen film they are breaking that fourth wall uh dakota did pretty good in this in this era i i enjoyed her but the overall movie fell really really flat um when i saw the trailer i honestly was expecting more from it um i have read some reviews because i have not um read or rather listed because i already know i'm like an audible person um about this particular book and they definitely talk about how it's like a love triangle it's a a a passion a yearning of what you want what you desire and honestly i had none of those feelings here i felt the yearning from like bridgerton in season one you know what you think i yearned for you but no here it's like put it under you tried i mean it tried I wouldn't recommend it. Moving on to all the great men. Um, this stars Ryan Gosling, whom I have not seen in a long time in a movie. I'm pretty sure he's been in other movies, but I haven't seen him in any personally. But he also may not have been in anything that I, that's why I haven't seen him. Um, anywho, and then we have Chris Evans rocking this very like creepy mustache. Does not work for him. We get a very nice like America's ass shot there. Mm, mm, mm. They knew what they were doing because when I saw that butt shot, I said, ah, mm. something new, honestly. It's a, it's a nice little action, like espionage, I guess, type of movie because we're dealing with spies and stuff. I feel like this is like a dad movie. Fighting is really cool. There's a lot of like shooting people from like reflections, finding out information we're not supposed to find out. So now we're trying to take you out, but then it's like you find stuff out. And then now like the CIA is trying to come at you. Out of the Adamas comes on here, love her girl crush i enjoyed it i thought it was just an okay movie as well um and then we're gonna go with the one that i just recently watched which is on prime so moving on to prime and that is 13 lives and this is actually based upon the true story that happened uh in 2018 so just a couple years ago i actually remember the story i'm not i don't watch the news because it's so depressing but i remember kind of like passing by and, and hearing about uh the thai soccer team and their assistant coach i believe it was 
who got stuck um, in the caves and it started pouring down because it was like monsoon season started early and they ended up getting stuck in the caves and then just kind of kept uh, getting pushed further and further, you know, down these chambers of the caves. And, uh, you know, this is just about the rescue and, and who was involved and everything. And, and Ron Howard actually directs it. And I think he did a really, really good job um, with the movie. I thought it was very well told. I actually ended up watching the documentary that's on National Geographic, The Rescue, which actually came out a year prior. One of the things that I liked about the documentary, and I'm going to kind of switch from the movie to the documentary, was... Uh, that one of them said, uh, well, they all said how nerdy they were, how they were different, how they were terrible in sports, and how they were bullied and everything. And at the end, he goes, you know, I was picked last in whatever sport it was, but I was picked first in a rescue mission. I mean, that's awesome. Now, there is a really good cast. We have uh, Virgo Mortensen. I can never really say his name. Uh... Colin Farrell, Joel Edgerton, uh, Tom Bateman. And again, the story was told very well. It is a tad bit too long. I, de I definitely feel like they could have cut uh, maybe, I don't know, 15 minutes from it, maybe even more. Uh, but I feel like Ron Howard really captured what it is to be going through these caves, through these chambers. Thousands of people came from all over the world to come, come and help these kids come out of this cave safely or just to kind of get the bodies to the families, however it may be. It was a really good movie, so I'm gonna actually put it under um, enjoyable. I, I, I really, truly enjoyed it, and I definitely think it's worth the watch. Now on to theatrical. Uh, first up is DC's League of Super Pets. I really enjoyed the voice cast for what the movie was which was a really fun good time and i think like everybody like the whole family will enjoy it nothing to take too seriously of course but i could definitely see like dc fans like being like no i hate this you know and i'm like dude like this is not like super dark like you know the dc shows it's just like a cute little thing we have like an evil guinea pig moving on to minions the rise of Gru. this was definitely an upgrade from the minions movie that came out a couple years ago i can't have these movies without Gru, whether it's adult Gru or um young Gru here villains of whatever the furious i don't remember what they're called um they, they I didn't really like them i didn't like their whole thing um there seemed to be a lot going on in the movie to be honest with you but i still enjoyed it but there's a lot going on okay i think this one was just for kids um but if you are a fan of like the despicable me minions you know like world you're gonna enjoy it and then last but not least is thor love and thunder which is like I don't know, is it the fifth installment in the Thor? Fourth installment? I don't know, you guys. There's so many Thors. Honestly, Thor used to be one of my favorite um, Marvel characters. I just loved him. He wasn't as stupid. But then, like, when he joined... I was going to say the Justice League, so I was talking about DC. When he joined the Avengers, it's almost like the writers say, Well, we already have a lot of, like, really smart people. We have to make sure we have... A dumb one and I guess it would be too much and too like sexist if they made one of the women you know to be that dumb one so we're like you know what Chris Hemsworth he's very hot he's good on the eyes let's just go ahead and start dumbing him down and he could be the pretty blonde person that everybody likes to look at it you're just kind of like there like oh my god but you still like can handle your own still directed by Taika Waititi who I absolutely adore he's so fun and everything and this is definitely like a very very fun like bright Led Zeppelin type vibes it's a great summer popcorn movie um it's not one that I want to read watch um i make sure that i got the posters with those two yaks because you know ah! after a while it kind of got annoying so i'm just like okay we got the f we got it they're like screaming yaks whatever i love the soundtrack i love having natalie portman back i love having like that little backstory of you know they're kind of like lo life together uh because i honestly just assumed that their life was just part one and part two of the movie and i'm always like oh wow you're like really like hung up on this person when you literally just spend like a small amount of time but you definitely go back and you know they did have a life together and they were living together and everything it was an enjoyable movie as well so we're gonna put it up uh, there okay so it's kind of cut off on me i don't remember where it cut off so we're just gonna keep moving forward um well we're gonna end this these are the movies that i saw in the month of july you know putting this up in mid-august but 
I'm getting out there, you guys. Let me know down below what did you guys watch in the month of July? Did we watch any of the same things? Do you agree? Do you disagree? If you disagree, that's totally fine. We all have our own personal opinions. Just let me know down below, like, you know, your opinion in a nice way. Don't get nasty with me. All right, if you haven't already, don't forget to give this video a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time I post something new. Until next time, I'll see you guys next session. Bye. Thank you.